we witnessed two incredible things today. First of all, a historic high tide and a handmade sand dune that was washed away in three days. Ron Gilmet stares out at Salisbury Beach with one word to describe it. Catastrophic. This week, private homeowners along the beach wrapped up a half million dollar project, bringing in 14,000 tons of sand to protect their homes. In three days, the sand is gone. Rick Rigoli oversaw the project. We got hit with three storms, January two in January, one now, at the highest astronomical tides possible. Just down the street in Hampton Beach, New Hampshire, police were keeping people out of this seacoast town until waters recede from high tide. Some vehicles didn't make it out. Others spent the day cleaning up. Provo runs a beachside bar in town. It just comes with the territory. You can move or you can stay with it. I mean, it's not going to, it's mother nature. You can't do anything about it. Case in point, you can see remnants of a tennis court in front of this Salisbury beachfront home. It is long gone from storms past. Its owner not sure if he will stay or how much it's now worth. Ron Gilmet has been here a half century. Beautiful properties here, and just a beautiful beach. I don't know what the solution is. On Wednesday, DCR homeowners environmentalists will gather for a meeting in hopes of coming up with a plan to save this beachfront. Live in Salisbury, I'm Ted Wayman, WCVB.